All right. Okay, so I'm going to be talking about this Trusco, I believe that's how you pronounce it, toolbox. Made in Japan. Japan. So found this on, I think, Amazon first. Um, I was just going to give you guys a little showing there how it looks. Nothing else. Okay. I was looking for something for Father's Day and couldn't really think of anything. And I said, you know what? My dad's truck is a fucking mess. My dad's truck is a fucking mess. And we use it sometimes. <laughs> and he has like a bunch of shit all over the place. I mean, papers. And so we just recently recorded one of the videos for half the gift that, that we got him. Um, to help, you know, clean shit up a little bit. And I was thinking to myself, he has this little, like, tool bag. This bullshit-ass, like, black canvas tool bag. I think it was probably from fucking Harbor, Harbor Freight. F Harbor Freight. <laughs> Harbor Freight. Freight, Freight, Freight whatever. whatever. Yeah. So I said, you know what? I seen this, and, I mean, the reviews, people were raving about this. They were like, the greatest so I was like, you know what? <laughs> I'm gonna test it. I'm gonna I'm gonna grab it. I'm gonna see how it is, and I'm gonna replace that dusty old fucking uh, oh shit <laughs> that dusty old bag he has over there in the uh, in the in the back of the truck. That way, at least if he's needing his tools, you know this bright ass blue toolbox, like people will know he's coming to work. So, here it is. I mean, I like the look of it. And, and and like I said, people were like, oh, they don't make things like this anymore. And, you know, my wife turned me on to this whole, like, this whole, like, uh, made in Japan, like, high quality shit. And I'm like, yeah, you know, like, Lexus and, you know, some stuff like that. Uh, maybe Infinity. I don't know. Um, I'm like, yeah, you know, J the Japanese make great stuff. So... When I seen that, I was like, oh, shit. And people were like, yeah, this is the way it should be done. And I'm like, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> I was like, you know, I'm going to try this. So it looks pretty good. I mean, it does look like heavy duty. But this looks like, in my my opinion, like when when you get like a new car and you have your choice between like white like a basic red, maybe, black, silver, stuff like that. Those are like low-key kind of like, you don't want any attention. And then there's like a bright-ass, you know, yellow or this nice shiny blue or, you know, bright, bright red or even though I just said red before, green or some shit like that. It's like, you're trying to say, look at me. I said, yeah, he might not like that, but if it's a good, you know, toolbox, you know, maybe so opening it you just open it like like dot kind of cool huh so anyway it comes like this so if you open it like this which is a smooth operation um to be honest with you uh, to be honest with you it does feel like pretty good you know material it isn't too thin yeah, they do make it the right way. I mean, this this does feel good. And um, they give you these little, and maybe like people don't know about this. They give you these little, as you can tell, they like tuck them in here on the sides. Mm -hmm. and they give you four, I guess, for each side. Let me confirm that. Yeah, it seems like four, which is really cool. And what you can do is, you know, put these little dividers in here and like oh I'm gonna you know I have have a little bit of screws here you know and then the rest I can have some tools or you know if, if that's your thing and you work with a lot of like small little bits and pieces you can just go all the way and it has obviously and I might be putting this in the wrong way I don't know yeah maybe I'm, I'm supposed to go this way sorry um, but yeah, um, I was just showing, like, I didn't really pay attention to what I was doing. Um, you can do up to four, like, if you're working with, like, small pieces, small bits, screws, stuff like that. But yeah, 
like I said, you can take these as you've seen, right? You don't have to have all four in there. So, in my opinion, this is an awesome toolbox. Yeah, there is a little bit of, you know, like missing paint. You know, obviously, like on the handles and stuff like that where it's uh, moving, you know, moving parts. And uh, closing it, it's really easy. Okay. Just thunk, 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 thunk. Nice. Smooth. Awesome. And then it has this little part here where you can actually lock it. You know, you can lock the toolbox. And then people are going to be so mad and they're going to be like, what am I going to do? I can't, I can't steal anything from there. There's a lock on it. And then they're just going to pick it up and then run to their car or whatever the fuck it is. And <laughs> steal it anyway. Um, someone did make a comment about that, that hole this gap up here and they're like dust can get inside so i don't know about this i was like really man <laughs> like fucking like you vacuum seal your fucking tools or something before you, guys, before you put it in your fucking toolbox but yeah this is the trusco st dash Three five zero, made in Japan or happen depends on how you pronounce the H. The H, <laughs> the, the J. The J. <laughs> I said H because happen. I don't want to touch it because that's clean. And and there's there's a good amount of weight to this. Okay, I I don't want you guys to think like. It's like thin, you know, this, this thing has some weight to it. Now, I can't even imagine, like, when you put tools in there, that's why I kind of feel bad. Because my dad's going to be like, shit, this is, like, much heavier. This thing feels like there's fucking tools in there already, okay? So, all right, we're going to do this little basic rat -a -tat over here. So, I'm going to try to go out to the hinges all the way. You know what? Let me just grab it up here. Okay, so... I would call it about 14 and a half, okay? I call it here because you have these little rivets inches. or whatever. 14 and a half inches. About, probably a little more. Okay, now the, the handles, you could drop them like this. I, I was concerned about that. Just imagine like wings of a bud. So uh, some people were like, no, the handles, they, they stay up or something like that. And I was like, what? That's a fucking dumbest, like, idea if you're going to make a toolbox like this. As you can tell, can you get, are you getting that flex? It does flex if you see the edges of the uh, toolbox. You could probably see it a little bit better. Because I notice here that the, the handles aren't exactly even, but it does flex that way. It, it's nothing, like, huge. It don't, I mean, I know you're going to be like, that's a cheap ass piece of shit. No, it's not, it's not horrible. Don't, don't think it's, like... You know thin material no this is pretty good material and i want to let you guys know i think i grabbed this on amazon for around 60 bucks this, <laughs> this is kind of expensive for a toolbox like like a little mini kind of toolbox it's kind of expensive so for this i would definitely say you get what you pay for it's pretty good so now if you drop those handles i'm gonna try to get the dimension just from this tip maybe i don't know but i think this this part of the handle goes a little higher than that but yeah call it like seven and a half because like i said well maybe no no i was gonna say because this is higher than that so i was gonna say like to be to be like safe but you can call it seven and a quarter if you want i mean but for me like i like to play it safe like i want to make sure i have enough fucking space and some people are you know they're going to order it. They're going to be like, you fucking said I bought it. Now I can't use it. <laughs> you got to go from the top. That's six and a half. You got to go from here. Yeah. Well, actually, even more because the handles, like, it, it depends on your situation. If it's up like that and you need space on the side, six and a half. If not, this handle will stick out a little extra. So you can get it here on the side. 
Yeah, you can you can you can see that right there maybe. But it does stick out a little bit. I'm trying to be exact because I know some people are gonna be like, oh that's perfect. It's gonna slide in there just right. And then they're gonna get home and they're gonna get home. You know, open up the uh, package, they're gonna try it and then they're gonna fucking flip out or something. And what I like about that is right now, I mean later on I could probably change. When you open it, there it, it feels solid, and there's no like, you know, opening it up and shit. So, <sighs> yeah, 13 inches. But again, the side of the handles they stick out a little. So I don't know if you guys can get that, like on top. <laughs> but yeah, it's going to be over 13. It might be like 14 because the handles. As you can tell, as you can tell, show from the side, the handles will stick out a little bit. So I can't really get that dimension like perfect. Um, the opening, which I was concerned with, like sticking my hand in there or my dad working, you know, is he going to be able to... And it looks like, what, five and a half? Oh, five. I'm going on the inside, though. It's like five and a half. Okay. Okay, so. Um, how tall is it like right now? Eight and a half. Um, well, I can't really get that. You're going to have to look on the inside. So it's like two and three quarters on the inside, something like that. For the inside. Yeah, two and three quarters. Two and three quarters. Thirteen and a half, maybe a little less. And these should be more or less the same. Yeah. Thirteen and what am I looking at? Thirteen and a quarter, right? Yeah. Um, here, front. You can tell, like, right from here, right? Um. Okay. Okay, so that's how it looks. Like, if, if you're wanting to know, like, can you open just one side? Yeah, you can. And um, this this uh, box here, this uh, little level, it it stops right at the very top. So if you do have stuff and you're like worried, like, oh, like how much stuff can I put inside? You got about about four inches of space inside before you hit the top, the, the bottoms of these uh, little... I, I'm trying to like cut to the chase and be more exact, but not sound like so inexperienced. Like to, if someone's gonna watch this, it's gonna be someone that's like into tools and shit, and they're gonna be like, that's not the right way to measure it. That's like, we, we don't do serious videos, like, but we did pick this up and we wanna give like our experience. It's not like we've never held a fucking drill or a tool before, you know, like I have my fucking tools over here, you know, like we own tools, we fucking work with tools, we sell tools. But, you know, we're not in that game where we're like, technically, you know, you gotta hold the, the tape measure like this and like that, and it's better if you use like laser, and like we're not, we're not fucking pros like that, so p please excuse us. <laughs> I would say, I mean, it's a nice, smooth, solid, solid operation. You don't hear anything, do you? Right? You don't hear shit. That's nice and smooth. That That is nice. Oof. I like it. Close it like that. Close it like that. Close it like that. Doesn't matter. I like this shit. This is a nice ass toolbox. For me, it's a little too expensive. Giving it as a gift, you know, for my dad. I don't really care. That's not really expensive. I was gonna get the next size up, but I was afraid like that shit was gonna be too big. <laughs> Especially like like I said, there is weight here. Now I don't want you to think this is some noodle arm pansy ass like limp wristed little bitch. No. I work out, y'all. So. <laughs> I lift weights, <laughs> and uh, I'm trying to like say that 
jokingly because if I sound serious, it's just like, okay, this guy's like really trying to like show off or some shit. But yeah, there's weight to this shit. This is like a fucking, I don't even know how much, maybe she can put the weight, but I mean, this is like maybe like a five, six pound toolbox or some shit. It's kind of heavy. I don't want you guys to think like this is some bitch shit right here. This is heavy. Um, so can you imagine loading it with fucking metal tools and stuff? You know? Um, yeah. That's like, uh, the unboxing and, uh, taking a look at the, uh, Trusco, uh, ST350 made in Japan toolbox. Um, what do they call these, like, cantilever? So, cantilever. Um, yeah, I think it's nice. Very, very worth it. Um, the thing is, it, it is pricey. It's very pricey. Um, in my opinion, I mean, I'm like, it's a fucking toolbox, you know, like, I mean, come on, it's just, you know, fucking sheet metal, and they just make it into a box, and that's about it. Yeah, they packed it nicely. I mean, the handles were rubbing against the box, so there's a little bit of, uh, proof right there. Um, but they put, you know, foam at the bottom, <laughs> I mean, for this, like, heavy-ass metal toolbox, I don't know, I mean, it's nice, I think they did a really good job on this, so, hopeful, uh, my dad can get some use out of it, and he'll like it, you know, he's, he's already getting up in age, but, you know, at least I have, that he can say, like, yeah, I have my tools in a nice little toolbox, and the tools inside are all fucked up and rusted, but, you know, the toolbox looks good, but, yeah. If you did watch all the way, thanks for watching. We do a lot of other reviews and a lot of random shit. And if you liked how unprofessional this was, those other ones are just as bad. So, take care.